Hi guys, how you going? Mr. Rowley again. Just want to go back over um, refraction in water or refraction in water be um, between water and air, I should say. Um, just looking at that uh, coin thing that we did in class. Um, as you can see here, I've got a picture of a little light box up in the left-hand corner there. It's going to shoot out a um, light ray. And as you can see, I've got a re re protractor there just so we can have a look at the angles. All right. So it's going to shoot a light ray out and at the moment that light ray is in air and the bottom half of the screen that you can see that is blue is of course water. Um, so it's going to hit the water and of course water is being more dense than air. The first thing it's going to do is slow down. All right. So same as you know if I talk about the bullet analogy, if I'm shooting a bullet through air it's just going to keep on traveling. All right hits the wall, the wall's more dense in air, it slows down, light's the same, all right? So light's gonna hit a more dense medium and it's gonna slow down, it's the first thing that it does, all right? Once it slows down, um, it bends towards the normal, all right? Because more dense slows down, bends towards the normal, all right? So let's see if this thing will work. Um, let's give it a go, see how we go. So here's our light ray entering in. Bang, and as you can see, it's hit one of my coins on the bottom of, uh, you know, bottom of the water there. So we could just say that this is a swimming pool, um, you know, and I've dropped my coin in. So if I look at that light box, and that is my eye um, looking at that coin at the moment, um, you know, I see that coin and it would actually look like, I don't know whether you can see the second coin there, um, it would look like for me that the second coin would be that um, the coin would be where that second coin is sitting. All right, but in actual fact, it's closer to me. All right, and this is again the reason why that if I was to dive into this pool to go and get that coin, I would most probably dive past it. All right, it's also the reason why when we were doing the cup exercise and the plate exercise, why when you stepped away from the cup and the plate and you couldn't see the coin, once um, the water actually started to fill up in those cups, you could actually see it, all right? Because what's happening is the reflection's coming back out off the coin, it's heading to the top of the water, and in the reverse, where it's coming out of the water and into the air, um, that reflection of the coin, the light reflection, you um, bends away from the normal because it's actually getting faster, and that is the reason why you saw it in the water but not when it was um, when there was no water in the cup so let's sort of label a couple of things here so first of all let's um, let's label this as if um, as if just let me get um, use black today um, so we'll just label this as if <clears throat> we are looking into water all right so if we're looking into the water, so this here, if we were to label this, um, if we were to label this light ray here, this would be our incident ray, all right? So if it's our incident ray, that would mean that this would have to be my angle, oh, if I can get my pen to work properly, that means if we look at this line here, that's 90 degrees to the surface of the new medium, which would be our normal. So if we were to label this angle here, that would be our um, angle of incidence. So angle of incidence. All right, so that's our angle of incidence. Now, as I've been saying, when the water comes out here, and if we were to actually have a look at that, that's it. Um, if you have a look at that angle there, it's coming in at around about 66 degrees. All right. So 66 degrees, it's coming into water. Water is more dense. All right. Because water is more dense, the light slows down. And this one here, because when it's not a reflection, it's actually going into the water and transmitting through a new medium. This here is our angle of refraction. All right, so that's our angle of refraction. 
Now, if we're going into a more dense medium and water being more dense than um, air, the angle of refraction should be less than the angle of incidence. And if we take a look at this, here's 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, around about 43, 44 degrees. So you can see that that angle there is less, all right? And that's because the light ray has moved towards the normal, all right? Now, if I was to change that bottom substance to something harder, um, say for a diamond, for example, and I might do that, I might clear all this and we'll, um, uh, I'll do the diamond, you'll actually find that the angle, all right, so if I, I might actually just clear all of that, just give me a second to muck around. Um, so I'll clear that, I'll rub out all of my little things here. We don't really need the coins anymore. Um, rub all this out. So if I was to make this bottom medium a diamond, the diamond of course is a solid, so it's even more dense than the water. So what would you expect to happen to the light ray? Is it still going to bend towards the normal? Well, of course it is. It's got to bend towards the normal because the diamond is more dense. And because that diamond is more dense, it's still going to bend towards the normal. But let's have a look at the angles, all right? Let's have a look at what happens to the angle um, now that it's coming into a diamond. So I haven't moved the light source. It's still coming in at around about that 66 degrees. Have a look at that. So our angle of refraction now, instead of it being at 42, 43 degrees, all right, the angle of refraction now as it's gone into the diamond from the air is around about 22 degrees, all right? Now, the angle of refraction will change depending on how dense or the difference, the differences in density between the medium that it's coming, the light's coming from and the medium that it's going into. So for air, the more and more dense something gets that, that, that it's going into, for instance, the diamond, all right, that angle of refraction, all right, the angle of refraction is going to be much less than the angle of incidence. Um, but going from air to water, and I don't know whether you can see along the bottom there, it's, we've got some values there saying that a vacuum is N equals 1 and air is N equals 1.003, uh, water is N equals 1.33. So they're, they're sort of like density rates, I suppose. So if you call a vacuum 1, all right, air is 1. Point, you know, 0003, water is 1.33. Diamond is actually 2.42. All right, it's almost double water, um, and hence the reason why that angle of refraction um, is much, much less. Now, if we were to swap all of this around, so, okay, we're going to be diamond on top and air on the bottom, and well, let's just do this again. So we've still got the same angle of incidence. Wow, I don't know why that stayed the same. That's really not flash. Don't know what's going on with that. That should not have stayed the same. Let's just see how we go with the second time. Okay, so we're just getting reflections. All right. Um, don't know what's going on with my little toy there. That's not completely working for me. So um, let's make the top substance water and we'll reset this. We'll clear and let's see what happens now. It's still only reflecting. Why is that? I don't know what's going on, people. All right. We'll just reset it all. We'll show protractor. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work for me to now. Okay. Here we go. So now we've got it working. As you can see, there's still a little bit of reflection coming off. So if we move our protractor over... All of the same things apply. So we're still coming in at that 66 degrees. You can see, you know, because we know our angle of reflection has to meet our angle of incidence. So our angle of incidence there is 66 and the reflection is 66. But our angle of refraction, again, you know, that 43 degrees. All right. So um, because we've entered a more dense medium in water, um, that angle of refraction has got lower. But I did want to swap that around so it was water at the top and air at the bottom. Um, and let's see what happens now. It's not working for me. All right, so it's only going to show, when we're doing this, it's only going to show um, a, uh, a, re 
reflection. I don't know what's going on there. I do apologize. Um, reset. Let's do water. Let's do air. This ha might might actually have something to do with our critical angle, which is um, I don't know something that we might go into. Um, so once we get a critical angle, and I, I wanted to speak speak about this a little bit later because this is how optic optic fibers work. So when we get a critical angle, um, and the, and each different medium has a different critical angle. Once you meet that critical angle, the light will no longer transmit. It will just reflect. So obviously we're looking at a critical angle here in water. So if I move this up here a little bit, let's see if we'll get, it'll still go through now. No. All right. So let's just move that back around to air and air and water. All right. So again, we'll have a look at this. So our angle of incidence there is what, 55 degrees. And our angle of refraction is around about 38, 39 degrees. So remembering as we move out of a less dense medium and into a more dense medium, your angle of refraction is always going to be less than the angle of incidence, depending on your medium. So again, if I do the diamond, depending on your medium will depend on how much that changes. So obviously the diamond is uh, more is a solid, whereas the water is a liquid. So because it's a solid, the light slows down even more than what it does from water, which means the angle of refraction is even, even less. All right. Um, just wanted to um, go over that. Uh, we'll come up with another video um, around about prisms and why we actually see a separation of colors. Um, and we'll go on to that. Uh, I might do a little bit of a video on that uh, critical angle for certain things and how um, optic fibers and all that sort of stuff works. So, um, you know, when you do your Foxtel or even your NBN these days, um, all that is is a glass tube um, that uh, transports down a signal. So for your Foxtel, for example, that cable is just transmitting light, all right? And it's an optic fiber, um, and it's just a glass tube. And that critical angle and the, and the fact that, um, uh, that the light just keeps bouncing off it and it doesn't actually go through it because it's underneath the critical angle is the reason why you get your picture through your Foxtel. Um, but we'll go into that in another video. So just for this one, just want you to remember um, that refraction, all right? So your angle of refraction as it goes into a more dense medium is going to be less, less than if it's in a um, less dense medium. Conversely, if it's coming out of the water, so if we were to reverse this here, so it's coming out of the water and my angle of incidence is 20, it's going into the air, my angle of refraction becomes more. So it's, you know, it's the reverse of this, it would be 55. All right, so as we go into a less dense medium, light speeds up, all right? As it speeds up, it moves further away from the normal, which means the angle is going to be greater. All right, so into more dense, light slows down. Remember, that's important. The first thing light does in a more dense medium slows down, bends towards the normal, will bend further and further towards the normal, the more dense that the um, new medium gets. Um, coming from a really dense medium into a less dense medium, first thing light does, speeds up. All right, as soon as it speeds up, it moves away from the normal. All right, key, um, key things that you need to know, you know, less dense, enters less dense, speeds up. It's the first thing, all right? Enters more dense, slows down. That's the first thing, all right? If you can remember those things, you'll uh, get around the rest of it. All right, that'll do it for this video. We're running out of time. That went a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I do apologize, and we'll do another one on um, the separation of colors. All right, catch you later, guys. See you later.